Jeremy, these first swings for a strong guy are not very good. You're anywhere from 47 to 61. And you start and your body angle look great, but look at that angle, that swing. It's up about a 45 degree angle. Here's Andrew Collins, a good pro. Young, good pro MVP of the World Series last year. Look at here, it's all one speed. There's not much of a lag in the snap of that bad head. And look how he drives the bad head forward a level, lets the ball drop to him, and he cuts you. Look here, there's extension within the rotation, and then a snap of the wrist, a lag and a snap together. It happens very quickly. Yours is just pretty much a drag at a 45 degree angle up. You don't get that crack of the whip. Anything that you want to crack and snap fast, you need to drive the butt of the bat forward and the knob forward level. And then as that extends away from the body, like Collins does right here, you snap, lag and snap. You get the rotation of the wrist within the rotation of the hips. It's a double pendulum. You just uh, are up at way too much of an angle, don't have enough lag and snap. The perfect snap episodes will be some great ones to watch. Uh, again, on the roll period, you can see that your body angle and your hip rotation is great. You're going to really get some great power and consistency developed once you get this leveled out a little bit. But here you can see, again, you're coming up at about a 40 degree angle. We want to be underneath the rope straight on through. So here's one of the great things you did right away. Look at that. You drove that arm straight. Using your guide rope and setting it up about level, you can really improve a lot at home. This is two great swings in a row there using that. The, the ball in the rope and just the swinging on the guide rope itself got you to level off, body angle good, great rotation. Here you're just a little bit up on it, but uh, you're starting to get it and you're starting to improve. Again, go back to looking at this, cut through the ball, level the slightly up and get that extension of the arms and the top hand driving past the bottom, arm, uh, bottom hand. Our, our swing plane trainer gets you from A to B on a straight line. Gives you kind of that feeling of like keeping the bat straight. Again, look at Collins' bat. It's straight all the way around. We power around in an arc and we create a lag and snap within it. That's just so fabulous looking right there. You just keep doing that over and over. If the knob goes up in the air, the bat head's going to drop. You're going to lose the swing. So that's why we have to keep that really crisp. And you may have to actually feel like you're swinging down a little bit. Point of contact oh, see there. Oh, see Here's your swings at the end. Good night. Oh. Here's a stride. Now watch, you go up here a little bit too much. Even on those balls you hit out, you reach 86 miles an hour, my friend. That's fabulous. Even on those, you can drive the knob with more extension, keep the lead arm straight. There's a, there's a tendency for you to want to pull with that lead arm right away. You need to stab forward, drive and stab. See, there's a little bit of a of a, a lag there when you, when you go to drive the knob forward and snap. So perfect snap. You've got nothing but great things out ahead. 86 miles an hour, that's absolutely fabulous. Great work with you and we'll keep working on it as time goes on here.